Um, I just realized that, that was Cyberman. He's literally he lost to one Rosalina and he's finding another Rosalina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we should be expecting Diddy Kong and Cloud as is projected on our scoreboards over there. But yeah. do you expect either of these players to swap to their other characters? Uh, <laughs> does Ralphie want to go Bayonetta versus Dill, who doesn't know how to doesn't know how to do jack crap to uh, versus her? Like New York is New York's experience versus Bayo is hilarious. Uh, like hilarious. we are very well attuned to the witch here on Long Island. Yeah, out to the city. Ralphie is your Bayonetta because your only other one is a Wi-Fi warrior. Yeah, and to say Ralphie is our Bayonetta is, uh, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I think we're going to just see uh, Cloud and Diddy. Um, there is that potential. I don't know how long ago. Uh, it has been a while, but I do remember, like, if Dill is too overwhelming, Ralphie might go Fox? But is that a smart option? I mean, last time he was able to beat him with that, but this was a long time ago. Uh, oh, we're having a button check, perfect. But yeah, so like the history between these two, like, you know, like you can never count Ralphie out. Uh, the, the character he plays, uh, his understanding of neutral, he's very good at applying pressure and making you play his game. Um, Dill is a lot more seasoned, he's older, been in the scene a lot longer. He's his father, he raised him. Indeed. Uh, you mean, uh, like a lot of the neutral habits like you see, is like because of, you know, when, what Dill has taught him and stuff. Um, Dill playing Diddy, a very uh, very neutral, uh, empowered character. You know, it's just like, I might not have the strongest hits. I might not have the longest strings, but I'm fast. He's and I always have gonna be getting that trade. Fast and fast moves. Like, what is it? Uh, uh, Dill and I like to call Diddy a uh, tiny furry chic. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just like, he, he basically has like all of the, like the neutral game like that Sheik has to a lesser extent, but in what he loses in that, he gains in additional kill power, which uh, added together does like outweigh, which is why, like, you know, we think that Diddy's a better character than like Sheik, for example. So, just going right in. Smash will going to be the pick for game one and still immediately going to be taking a very slight lead. I feel like Banana at the ledge while Dill also having enough options to control platform town once she's around. This stage can very well fall into Dill's favor whenever his feet are Ooh. on the base platform. Wow! You saw that. That forwarder land, pushing him right to land on the banana. And it had just enough time because he was at low enough percent and it was low enough knockback because he had uh, not enough rage that he fell back into idle position. So when he landed, he literally landed on the banana and then uh, slipped. That's fantastic. Oh, my God. Banana interrupting the limit cross slash. Only the first strike being able to come out onto Dill. Banana really coming out to be the real homie in this one. Oh, wow. So I think that was just like Dill not aware of uh, the type of rage that he had and how like it's still pretty little because he's been doing like this really big wall. Oh my god. Uh, and so when he went for that down tilt fair, he jumped too high. Excellent recovery from Ralphie. Saving his jump so he can go between the projectile pressure of Dill. And sweet spotting it so that uh, at his peak uh, he would just uh, snap to the ledge so that he had no hurt box that was uh, presented. And just like that, we have Ralphie evening it up uh, completely. Because at this point, right, they're both at death percent. Like, it doesn't matter that Dill has 60% on him. It, it really doesn't. Although so, it does matter when Dill manages that lead. Now yeah. sitting at 98%, he does have to worry about Ralphie putting out a stray hitbox. But he doesn't really have to be concerned with too much. With the banana into the oh my low God. back air, fantastic confirm. It Ralphie ties this up with no percentage built up on him. I really like that. When Ralphie went off stage, it should uh, kind of force him to wait to use the barrels, putting him in a worse position so that when he grabbed back on stage, he was able to set up that banana for that back air kill. Really good stuff by Ralphie. Take a moment to appreciate Ralphie's movement in the beginning of this set, putting in a lot more perfect pivots than we often see him exhibit against players, and just being a lot more aware of how he needs to move against Dill. Right now, Dill is uh, still kind of... Like, Dill's brute force is kind of ridiculous because it's like... It, it's one of the things that Diddy is, you know, blessed to have is the fact that, like, when he does the uh, the banana toss, right, he is in a completely idle state. So when he just goes, I threw the banana at your shield, you're going to try and get away now. <laughs> Look, have you seen my fair? It's huge! That move is healthy. It's a good <laughs> it's move. healthy. 
Oh, ooh, oh my god. Living on a prayer, Ralphie's coming back despite the threat of that down air. Now sitting at 120%, he's Still gonna have to enough die. time. <laughs> Taking a lot of shield pressure, he's getting popped up, but he's got banana in hand. Still's gonna power shield and just get plenty of pummel action on him. Same thing when I said earlier with the banana toss he has with the down tilt. Yeah. <gasps> if he had done... No, you Last fool! Hit. Ah. Scripted F. Still losing that game one. Oh my lord. Still gonna take his swig of water and be like, yeah, I actually won that game, but uh, it's okay. You can you can up his score over there. It's whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just play hard mode, you know? <laughs> but, uh... It, like that that's the that's uh, one of the makings of like good players is that when it when they're in that fight or flight situation right it's just like i need to put this out here right and i'm not not guaranteed it but on the slightest mess up i could win the game yeah. so i'm gonna go for it ralphie went for it ralphie got it but game two's bringing us to town and city and dill is a beast of a human being on this stage yeah Got a phenomenal record showcasing why this is such a good stage for Diddy. And especially in Dill's hands, the way that he controls space at the ledge. <gasps> yeah, right now Dill has yet to be touched. Yeah, he's not looking to take any percentage, but Ralphie's going to show us up with that down tilt. Mana falling into favor. That was a really scary situation because the banana was just a constant wall that he had to respect. So, like, no matter what, he was like, Diddy hurt me, I guess. I'll try if I can come back. Ralphie's still managing to return to stage, even put a bit of percentage onto Dill. Like that kill him, yeah. imagination. No, he's still living. Nope, just, just kidding. Not right. enough lift on that climb hazard. So now we see Dill accomplishing what he basically wanted to accomplish the first stock of the first game, where he built all of that percent, uh, but he wasn't able to get the kill. Yo, did it matter, though? Um, I, I don't, don't think, think it so. Uh, yeah. 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 You know what? Mm, I'm going to zip my mouth. Where is Dill's stock? Uh, uh, go to your local lost and found. See if you can find it. Uh, cherish it. Uh, sell it on eBay. It might be signed. Uh, Either way, Dill don't got it. Yeah. Sweet down air going to be putting Ralphie in a lot better of a situation than prior. Still putting in all that work for not. Oh, this is when finals and it's Aeon, so we have best of five. Yes. Oh my, okay. I was already thinking like Dill was like knocking on death's door here. Is this like a uh, loser's bracket? Uh, he's still got another opportunity. And at the rate we're going, we are definitely not Saturday boys today. That's what I like to hear. Good job, guys. How many are you? Uh, 34, I think. Yeah, so. it's breakout. I feel it. <laughs> it. It's dangerous out there. Uh, we definitely ran two brackets tonight. <laughs> but uh, Dill running that back and managing to take game two back into his party. So that kind of snowballed out. The moment that Ralphie went for that semi-desperate uh, cross slash, that, which he had done in the previous game and which netted him the kill, uh, he was just like, I need to make this work. Let me try it again. And Dill's like, no, 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 not this time. And the moment that whiff, like, you felt like uh, he was in such a bad situation getting grabbed and put off stage that it was going to be so linear. And the fact that I feel like the fire under Ralphie's belly was just not there anymore. He's just like, I am so far behind. He, he has so much extra credit. Ugh, I hate that phrase so much. No. Um, Ugh. Uh, in in semi-related news, it appears that on the side stream we have Jay facing off against Suarez, meaning that Cyberman is out of tonight's bracket. It's like, hey, Cyberman, what happened to your bracket life? He went, uh, Rosalina. And then what happened to losers? Luma. Rosalina and Luma. Neither are present here in Game 3 of Winners Finals as we're at Battlefield. So now we are at the uh, the Game 1 of the best of three. Uh, however, it is with Ralphie being like, no, 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 I get to choose. I get to choose, all right? <laughs> this is where we are, Father. My combos now. So I know that some Diddy's don't like Battlefield as a stage. Uh, this is something that I cannot comprehend because Diddy is such a fast character and has all of these edge cancels. Well, he doesn't have multiple edge cancels. He just has edge cancel off the flip, which is such a great mobility option that he's able to just like continuously move and just keep these walls up. And like, what are we seeing exactly happen? We're seeing Dill trap Ralphie in his own stage counter pick. 
but Ralphie's not out of it just yet. He's holding on to center stage for dear life. He has his limit charged up and ready to go, but he's not in a position to effectively use it. Dill is pressuring him from all sides right now. Yeah, Ralphie is trying to save that uh, limit to not gain stage advantage, but to gain a, a, a stock. He wants to get that kill, so he first needs to do a little bit more damage. And this extra rage is going to be helping him out with that, but he still has to hit him. I think Dill's been at 52% for quite some time now. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since Ralphie's put a hit on. And the up tilt not going to be killing just yet, but Dill stealing all that stage control away. We finally see a nair come out from Ralphie, and the control is slowly coming back onto his side. He's going to slip on a banana in the meantime. Yeah, but see, now we're at the now we're at the percent where uh, he can die. Oh, yo, tech, he tech, tech, tech. Yo, what a god! What yo! a god! Ah! All right. Did he come? Did he come? Did, <laughs> Did he privilege turn that situation around real quick? On that was not privilege. That was teching and using his up B as a hitbox. And honestly, the fact that it hit him in that direction was kind of nuts because that means he was below him when that happened. Because he, Ralphie was just like, crap, he teched it. I need to up B, get back to the stage as fast as possible, which ended up putting him in a worse position. Yeah, very poor panic situation for Ralphie. He's putting, making Dill look lively right now. Sitting at 144%, but he's still got the pressure on Ralphie. So I think, like, he just whiffed a grab. Did he actually whiff it because Diddy low profiled from landing from the monkey flip kick? My god. On Battlefield, no less. Yo. Some of us are blessed. <laughs> and. <laughs> This is a battle of the blessed. Oh my god. Bless up. So we're turning us back into a very jump heavy neutral as Dylan and Ralphie are trying to feel each other out to see if Ralphie can manage to get this uh, this advantage state going in his favor, but it's very difficult to hold on to as Dylan manages to slip out of his grasp. Yeah, plus the one time where he got the juggle, the platform actually got in the way. Hilarious! Still might be alive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that Diddy Kong's recovery is kind of clean. Yeah, so uh, if you saw that, Dill didn't do up B right away because if you do it while you're in knockback, you will uh, maintain that that momentum and you will just fall like the rock that you're already going. But once he enters the idle anime, the idle fall, then he is able to do the slowdown. I want to deal with those down tilts. Good boxing. You know, sitting at higher percentages, no one managing to uh, clean up these stocks just yet. Dill holding on to the stage control incredibly well. Gets Ooh, the down oh tilt. Oh my god. He tried to go for that air dodgery, but just not quick enough. Not only did Ralphie punish uh, to get him off him from the edge guard, he got the limit off of it and then just, forward just, tilt. just kept him going. Forward tilts just. Whoa. Big sword things. Yeah. People sleep on that as a kill option, but yeah. with rage behind it, really deadly. Cloud F tilt is amazing. It, it's fast. It, it is unsafe. It is technically unsafe. So uh, it does kind of uh, balance out. But the, like, the fact that it's such a fast move and that when you can do it strung out of uh, safer hits, right? Where it's like, you know, the classic like back air on shield, like they're at a negative spot. So if they try to do something, you get F tilt. Like F tilt so good. Game three taking us, uh, game four rather, taking yes. us into Smashville. So Ralphie up 2-1 now. So this is a really good position now because uh, if Dill wants to win, he has to do it on Ralphie's helmet. Ralphie looking quite favorable now. However, Dill's trying to take that away from him. He's got plenty of percentage built up onto him. Ah. Stage very well oriented for Dill's control. But it's, it's, we keep seeing this. Like, Dill is going to do, like, a ridiculous amount of pressure in the beginning. But then if he doesn't net the kill, Ralphie comes right back. He's just got to remind Dill that he's already won this tournament. <laughs> he's just like, hey, Dill, you know I can tell the future? Wow. I almost thought he wasn't. Yeah, back. same. You ever just get punished for pressing the right buttons? Very nice. You ever just not press the right buttons, though? Oh, my God. It's a hard knocks life for Dill in this game four. Yeah, I feel like Dill is actually getting a little bit frazzled, or just, like, every time he d begins to start something, Ralphie is too close to, uh, to like, let it finish, and he's actually doing, like, the right reads on what he's going. Like, he he's in his head. 
Ralphie doing a phenomenal job of swarming Del, keeping this pressure up, building up a good amount of, pre of percentage into the second stock. And pressure, and pressure, yeah. He'll try to alleviate some of that, but stage control and banana in hand going to be netting him the kill with the follow up into the up smash. Yeah, so we got the classic there, uh, letting Dill even it up there. And, uh, you know, at this percent, like, we can just see uh, this is where the knockback is low enough where he can do those long strings and get all of that pressure back and build all that damage. So if Dill's able to uh, finally, like, reset this, he'll be able to, you know, bring him up to, like, 90 or whatever. We've seen it already like two to three times before in this very set. It's a whole lot of footsies right now. Ralphie trying to occupy space, but still playing a lot more reserved from the previous uh, rounds we've seen. Yeah. He's just looking to spot his opportunity and blow up Ralphie where he can, but that's not gonna kill. Nope. All but, right. But it is going to assert Ralphie's stage control and build up plenty of percentage onto Bill. Part of me feels that Ralphie actually had in uh, had in mind to do the finishing touch, but at the last minute we're like, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna connect this. I like whatever. And I I can appreciate that. Doubling down, but now we're at, we're getting close to this last hit last hit situation. But the balloon having Ralphie's back. Taking that L from that banana. That's the second time it's done it in this game alone. You like, think Dill might just have a vendetta against that balloon? He just really doesn't like it. He's just like... This is a waste of helium. <laughs> Whoa. Who's throwing all these balloons here anyways? A lot of moving around, but the reverse hitbox of forward tilt is actually going to be netting Dill the stage control. And <gasps> he's not going to be able to get his follow-up. He's facing the forward oh smash. Oh my god, Dill super dead. The moment that he popped out of the up smash, uh, like, Dill is going to do something rash. And Ralphie, like, honed in on that. And it was just like, let me paint with all the colors of the wind. <laughs>